During the American Civil War, Dixie was adopted as a de facto anthem of the Confederacy. New versions appeared at this time that more explicitly tied the song to the events of the Civil War. The song was a favorite of President Abraham Lincoln. He had it played at some of his political rallies and at the announcement of General Robert E. Lee's surrender. The Bonnie Blue Flag, when the state of Mississippi seceded from the Union in January of 1861, a flag bearing a single white star on a blue field was flown from the Capitol Dome. This, the writing of this song, the Bonnie Blue Flag, helped popularize it as a symbol of the Confederacy. The Bonnie Blue Flag was used as an unofficial flag during the early months of 1861. It was flying above the Confederate batteries when they first, when they first opened fire on Fort Sumter beginning the Civil War. The battle cry of freedom was written in 1862 by American composer George F. Root. Root became particularly successful during the Civil War as the composer of martial songs such as Tramp, 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 The Boys Are Marching, Just Before the Battle Mother, and Battle Cry of Freedom. A patriotic song advocating the cause of the Union, Battle Cry of Freedom became so popular that a version was adapted for the Confederacy. The Union version was used as a campaign song for the Lincoln-Johnson ticket in the 1864 presidential election. The song was so popular that the music publisher had 14 printing presses going at one time and still could not keep up with the demand. It is estimated that over 700,000 copies of this song were put in circulation. Mm -hmm. 